Mike, Mike. For everyone that doesn't know me, my name is Mike. I'm the best man. I've, uh, I've known Matt for 25 years now. So bear with me. I had to write this like five times. It's very tough. Um, but if you happen to be at my wife and I, Amanda's wedding back in 2016, you know that Matt showed up with three to four pages of loose leaf paper full of a speech, front and back. So this is going to be shorter than that. But just like our fantasy leagues, Matt is the commissioner of the Fantasy Baseball League. I am fantasy football. I am way more technologically advanced than him. Uh, so we Mike, have it Mike, all Mike. on the phone right here. Fire Mike. Fire Mike. But back to what I was saying, this is by far the hardest speech that I've ever tried to write through school, any of that stuff. I've started and stopped this so many times because it's so hard to put into words the friendship that I have with this man oh. for 25 years. Sorry. And seeing, life, seeing him so happy with you, Caitlin, is so awesome. But it comes as no surprise that after 25 years of friendship that we've had good times and bad times, but our early years consisted of many of nights staying at each other's houses, playing baseball and basketball up in Fern Creek, and eventually, um, every weekend for the Barracudas playing in a different town. <laughs> we, we literally rode up and down the roads together with our families, losing and winning second place trophy after second place trophy. <laughs> we lost to everyone in every kind of weather pattern, no event, every city, didn't matter what, we were going to lose and finish second. <laughs> no matter what, though, our parents won the tailgates. <laughs> Run. Our parents took so much pride in getting to know the hotel staff and sharing lots of adult beverages with them that there was no way we were going to lose. <laughs> Aside from all the baseball memories, you know, Matt is a founding member of Walt's Gym who is well represented here today. He's a chair member on the Fantasy Football Rules Committee. And sorry, Luke, he is the reason we don't have kickers anymore. So. <laughs> but without sports, you know, Matt and I have shared some truly unforgettable times together. We've, we've taken so many trips to the lake where we tried our best not to make my uncle feel like a turd. <laughs> The no bull hat will always hold a special place in my heart. We've spent many a 3 a.m. at the White Castle in Fern Creek just crushing cheeseburgers with Big Red. So many concerts like Corey Smith where Logan was buying everybody, including my father, drinks at yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And Matt was there with me watching the Cubs, hoping that they would blow it in 2016, only to leave when the rain delay started in the 10th inning and miss the greatest moment in my sports life when the Cubs won the World Series in 2016. He was there through the windstorm, the ice storms, so many fun and exciting things that we've done. But then life happened after, you know, we graduated college. The trips were gone, the late nights were over. And it was time to grow up and get a job. <laughs> and no matter what, Matt was always there. He was the first person I called. He was the first person I called. My grandparents died. My kids were born. Scott died. No matter what, that was there. Never hesitated. He never blinked. He was always there. I'm not ashamed to tell you all that I love this man with all my heart. And I hope that he understands just how important he is to me. I say that to tell you, Caitlin, that you chose the most perfect man in the world to marry today. I've had the pleasure of knowing both of you, and I was present when you all got to meet each other at the Big O Fest in that afternoon. <laughs> Matt was in his prime, and Caitlin was the DD that she always was throughout all of our years together in college, because her and I were the DDs. <laughs> the I know 
that I was there to witness the birth of the love that is today. I thought things would get tense due to Kayla's devotion to the St. Louis Cardinals, the most disgusting organization. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Matt somehow was able to overlook that and forgive her for it. They've had such an amazing couple to watch grow these past few years. Caitlin, you're such a selfless, loving person, and she puts up with all the crazy things Matt comes up with. <laughs> she even plays cornhole with him in the basement of their house. <laughs> if that's not love, I don't know what is. Matt was so excited, so excited the day he was going to propose to you. He told me, and I could hear the nerves in his voice. I've never heard Matt talk the way he talks about you, Caitlin. The man loves you more than the Reds, Louisville, and the Bengals or Broncos. We still haven't figured out which team. <laughs> you both have had such a strong understanding of who you are and your relationship. It's beautiful to watch you all take this journey together. And after today, when we drive back to Louisville, I just want you all to go home and just take it in for a second. Just enjoy the quiet moments together. Look at each other. And understand the love that you shared is only going to strengthen, but it's become stronger enough to take on the world, even if it's just the two of you. You both can do anything. Your love is pure and can withstand the test of time or children, whatever comes first. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of the day. But Loney, I, I guess I'm going to have to call you something different because I've called you Loney ever since I met you. So I'm going to have to start calling you Flag. <laughs> Everybody can raise a toast one more time. Congratulations, everybody.